you know, more than any other agency that I'm aware of, you deeply embraced a goal setting system, OKRs. I'd love to hear the story of both how and why you did that. When I came to CMS, I had run a small company and it was a a tiny little company. It was very easy to have alignment. You spent a lot of time with your employees. They worked personally with you on a bunch of projects. So it was easier. And then I come to this big, large, sprawling organization and there's so much going on. Um, Even just getting your arms around, what, what is everybody doing? What is everybody working on? I'd probably describe CMS as almost like, a bunch of musicians. You've got the piano players here, you've got the drums over there, and everybody's kind of doing their own thing. And they're great. They're making beautiful music, but they're all kind of doing their own thing. And even as a leader to come in and put your arms around, what are you doing? That, that was very hard. And a lot of, I think, administrators that I've spoken to, they get focused on a few priorities. For the Obama administration, they had the Affordable Care Act. So, you know, all hands on deck. They're focused on implementing a large piece of legislation. Same thing with Part D um, and the Bush administration. So, you know, I think it's been natural that a lot of these administrations have been focused around a a huge initiative. But um, we didn't have that with the Trump administration. So it was almost thinking about what putting together this agenda. We did a large listening tour where we went across the country. We talked to innovators, providers, and patients. And so we had a pretty good idea of here's all the things that I want. Here's how I want to do them. But how do you get all that done? And I remember being advised, just, you know, once you pick out three or four things that you want to get done. And I thought, well, look, I'm commuting back and forth and I'm leaving my family behind. I don't want to get four things done. I want to do everything I can in my time here to affect as much change as possible. And I'm sure this won't be the case, but I didn't want to look back at this time saying, well, I wish I would have done this and I wish I would have done that. And I'm Mm -hmm. sure I'll get to that point, but I'd like to keep that list as small as possible. So John, you know, my uh, introduction to OKRs was this. You and I had been talking. We had never talked about OKRs. We had been talking a lot about interoperability. But I happened to be at the airport, uh, delayed flight, and I'm just looking at the great bestsellers, and I see your book. And I was like, oh, well, I know John, and I've got it. I've got some time here in the airport. So I bought the book, and I started reading it. So I don't know if it was just serendipity. And I called you afterwards, um, but It was sort of a serendipity where I'm coming into this organization, I'm trying to get a lot of work done, and I don't feel like we're getting there. And I was frustrated as a leader. I wasn't getting the results that I wanted to get. Um, Happened to read the book and recognize that we needed to do something to pull the whole agency together, to have alignment, to have shared goals, to have an understanding of what we were trying to achieve and to deliver it and to deliver it in a way that was organized. You know, I didn't want to have a meeting and then say, well, where's this and where's that? So it gave us a framework in terms of trying to organize our goals, our accomplishments and holding people accountable. 